you know, what's going on? What can we do? And I just kind of told her my story and um, she was like, well, maybe you need to go to schools. We have here a former student of the Bethel School District, and she just wanted to tell her story a little bit about um, how she was able to, to graduate and overcome her adversity. She just wants to explain, you know, her story and what she did to get to where she is today. So, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, introduce yourself a little bit. What, what do you do? Where are you, where are you from? You know. All right, so my name is Marissa Tapia, and I'm going to be 19 here in a few days. I was born in Florida and then moved to Washington when I was about like six years old. And I've lived with my grandparents most of my life because my dad was deported and my mom just wasn't around very much. School was kind of rough, but I had my grandparents there to support me, so it wasn't too bad. Around my high school year, Things got a little bit harder. My mom was around more, but not really, you know? She was uh, in drugs and stuff like that. So my first two years of high school just were really rough. I just had pretty bad grades and my grandparents were on me a lot about it and I just couldn't see myself getting there. So I switched to an alternative school from Bethel High School and I started going to Challenger. And um, that made things a lot better things from there kind of progressed through my junior year and then um my mom passed away so things got kind of rough again mm -hmm. things at home weren't going so good with my grandparents so i got kicked out and i started living with um between my friend's house and my boyfriend's house when um was it that you moved from florida to like washington and you know how, how'd that go about how did you how did you get all the way across the state? <laughs> um, well, since my dad got deported to Mexico, my mom just really couldn't do it on her own and she got back into drugs again. So me and my brother got separated from her and she kind of got her stuff together again. And um, when I was about four, she came and got me and my brother. And then she decided that she was going to move closer to her mom and dad so things could be easier. Mm. So we kind of lived with my mom for a little bit while we were here and then she just couldn't do it again and she went to prison so that's when we started living with my grandparents. Mm. And how far out was your grandparents um, maybe from the from the school from the school district and um, you know how did you were you able to take the bus or did you you know get dropped off or how, how did that go about? How did take the bus? Mm. Um, we were like a few miles away from Bethel. We were pretty close to Cougar Mountain when I was going to middle school. Sometimes I'd walk home after like sports or something like that. So we weren't too away or too far away from school or anything like that, but still took the bus just because it was more convenient. All right. So you were living with your grandparents and you started going to Bethel in high school. What made you want to go to an alternative school? I just... I couldn't concentrate at Bethel High School. There was just um, kind of like fell into a bunch of different crowds. There was just so much going on and teachers didn't really pay attention to me the way I needed them to because I just, I don't know, just my head was so fogged with everything at home that I tried to find as many things to distract myself besides school, I guess. Mm. <laughs> so um, when my grades were getting really bad and my counselor came to me and she was like, what's going on? I was in one of the programs at Bethel where it's like an extra class where we take online classes. Okay, like, um, uh, I can't remember. Like, like extra credit or was it, um, I think it's event or something like Aventa, that. okay. So you can like retrieve credits that you've missed, you know? Okay. And I just wasn't getting into it. I just wasn't doing what I was supposed to just because things were just so rough that I just, didn't really care the way I needed to. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so my counselor took me in and she was like, you know, what's going on? What can we do? And I just kind of told her my story and um, she was like, well, maybe you need to go to schools. Like maybe it isn't best for you to be here. So she suggested that I go to Challenger, but 
a lot of their seats were like pretty filled. So what she did for me was she wrote a recommendation letter and um, eventually some kid decided to drop out, I guess. So it opened a spot for me. So then I got to go. And it was like right at the end of my sophomore year. So I was only there for like a couple months. But those couple months was just like so different from Bethel. Like the teachers, it was like a completely different vibe. They like really wanted to help me. The students there, they were there to do what they're supposed to do. You know, they weren't so distracted with other things themselves. Like they mm -hmm. wanted to get their stuff done too. Mm -hmm. So I think that made it easier for me to like concentrate as well. Yeah, I agree. I was uh, also, I, I also went to Challenger, um, but maybe not around the time you did. But yeah, I found that definitely an advantage there. Um, since it was such a smaller school too, and it was, you know, hard to get accepted in, like you had to be, you know, eligible for that. Right. Um, not just anybody can go there, but, um, yeah, I found it was a game changer. My, my family life wasn't the worst situation, and, right. but, um, I can sympathize with you about, you know, having to switch schools and... What was it about Challenger for you that, like, you love so much? And aside from, you know, that it, you know, it was small. It was, you know, you had one more one on one. Like, um, why why were you recommended to go there rather than continue through high school like I you were before? It's because um, Challenger could provide more opportunities for me. The teachers were just so much more concentrated on me, which is what really pushed me to do better. But um, not only that, but like the family center next door to Challenger, they provide so much for the students and just even the community itself. Patty is a social worker there. Uh, she did a lot for me. And it's not even just going in there and getting free noodle cups from her or anything like that. She was someone I could talk to. When it came time from me being kicked out, she was the one who recommended McKinney Vento. Mm -hmm. So it was really Challenger that opened up opportunities that I don't really think I would have really found at Bethel that maybe I could have asked for at Bethel, but I didn't know about, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like Challenger told me about these things. Right. They have all these access to these programs where most people who don't face adversity, they won't necessarily benefit from it. Yeah, it's just these little little programs at the district that people aren't really aware about, but when they are, like it, it's 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 a game changer. And um, yeah, I was just talking with another student, uh, fellow student, and yeah, he was he was talking about you know Patty, like uh, she would always like out of pocket pay for people's food if she needed yeah. to. So you know, McKinney Vento can go so far. Yeah, there's there's a lot Bethel has to offer and. Um, so you said you're you're 19, so you're graduated now, right? Yeah, so I graduated the the last school year, 2018, and um, McKinney Vento is probably the only reason I graduated. Um, my junior year went pretty well, but my senior year was kind of rough. Um, I was still, you know, going back and forth between uh, my friend's house and my boyfriend's house. So. At that time, McKinney Vento helped me get food stamps when I was like 17. So that really helped me as well. Not only provide food for myself, but you know, I could kind of repay the people who were helping me as well. Um, and not only that, but I had a lot of credits I needed to catch up on and I didn't really get to it until my senior year. And um, I was sick a lot during my senior year and so I was like missing a lot of school. I didn't really get to my online classes till the last quarter. And it's also because my counselor didn't really realize I was in McKinney Vento. So once they realized I was part of that program, they paid like the 90 something dollars um, for my online classes. A lot they paid for it. Um, yeah. That's so, amazing. Um, that allowed me to graduate because if I didn't have those I would still be in school right now so right. so you graduated on track and yeah yeah and yeah you had you had no excuse and um really that's awesome yeah. that's that's really cool yeah. so how how is life uh treating you since you know graduating right now I'm working at Subway 
and I've been there for about a month and they are wanting to train me to be assistant manager right now so I'm in the wow. middle of doing that um it's really nice because I've only been there for a month yeah you've only been there a month. <laughs> which is such a short time it feels good because I feel like I'm accomplishing a lot more than I could have beforehand like if I would have continued at Bethel I think I would probably be a super senior and probably wouldn't have been motivated to get a job but um I think getting through such a rough school year like really encouraged me to get a job I was like there's really no reason I shouldn't be working right now so in I know it's just subway but when I got there I was like I'm gonna try really hard and just do my best so now it's like um starting to pay, pay off right well that's awesome and yeah. um yeah, I, I want to congratulate you for not only graduating, but for, you know, stepping up and taking, you know, your life and your finances in your own hands and you are um, advancing. And uh, I like I like to see I like to see that. And that's fast progress, too. I mean, you're only 19 and that's that's amazing. You're turning adversity into your advantage. And I, I like seeing that. That's it's really cool. Yeah, um, I was just at Panda Express the other day, and I got this fortune cookie, and um, when I opened it, it said, persistency pays off. And mm. I was like, this is literally the perfect fortune for me right now. It's like, <laughs> just keep doing what I'm doing, and eventually it's going to pay off for me. So. All right. That's amazing. Um, I appreciate the conversation. It yeah. was cool to uh, you know hear your story. You speak for so many people who are also, um, have been affected, or they're, in adversity and you know their voices aren't always heard so it was, it's really cool to hear your story and I appreciate the time thank you and I actually really enjoyed doing this because I feel like every time I talk to somebody you know when I explain my life story somehow in some way they relate to so I know everyone else out there kind of going through some kind of struggle right and I'm sure whoever's watching this can also benefit yeah. from, from the words <laughs> so yeah I appreciate it all right